matchups that Central Montana Hoops fans dream about all year long. Day one of the best divisional tournament in the state did not disappoint. We'll start with the first boys game, second boys game rather. This a first round matchup between Hayes Lodgepole and Hart Butte Warriors. With the edge early, Dylan Kipp off the glass and in. We are tied at six points apiece. T-Birds with the answer. Jeffrey Stiffarm from way beyond the arc. Drills the long three-pointer just before the quarter. Jamison, young running crane, beats the buzzer from the corner for a one-point lead after one quarter. Uh, Hayes on defense, though. Jeremy Pretty Paint, four blocks to go with 16 points and 22 boards. Gets an assist here as well to Kenneth Blackcrow. T-Birds led by 14 at half, and they uh, withstand a Hart Butte comeback attempt, 57-48 to advance. The other boys' first round game, the late one, Roy Winifred pulling off a 59-56 win over Fort Benton. The Outlaws, the hottest team in the state. They had four regular season wins, but they get hot to win an eight seed title and now they're advancing to the Northern Sea semifinals. Here's another boys game. This though a play in game between two three seeds. Winner will face Chinook coming up on Thursday. Sunburst and win at grass range. That's Zane Stahl to Charlie Keith in transition. Game high 20 points for Keith. Back come the refiners. Michael Buckley goes right at the defense. Hangs and hits that one. It's a one point game. Stayed close throughout but the Rams just had more in the tank. Walker Doman. Money with a baseline jumper for the freshman. Rams will advance to face Chinook Thursday at 11 o'clock 56 51 the final. Let's go to the girls matchups. This the one everyone's talking about in the first round. Belt box elder, no stranger to playing later in this tournament, but first round it is Huskies come out on fire. Brooke Schrainer from the corner knocks down the triple. Then Morgan Cooper to Colby Pimperton in about the same spot. And you know those Pimperton girls can fill it up from deep. Three of her 12 points, but Box Elder would find a rhythm in the second quarter. Jonelle Momberg, perfect bounce pass to Lily Gopher. Banks in two points. Box Elder up three at the half in the second. Momberg, she will stop. She will pop from three. And it's nothing but net. 23 points for the future Montana Lady Grizzly to lead all scores. Later, Gopher going inside, and boy, she's just a straight killer. Weaving away through the defense. 15 points for Gopher. And Box Elder takes down the 8C champion belt 60 to 51. How about Turner, 3 seed out of 9C, taking on the number one seed out of 10C. Sims, Tornado's feeling good in the first half. Sarah Billmeyer, shy and crass inside. Crass with the double-double, 19 points, 10 boards. Then Billmeyer in her Sour Patch Kids socks. Those things are fantastic. Knocks down a three. 19 points as well for her. Turner up by two and a half. Tigers fighting hard in the second. Alyssa Willikis spins right to the rack. Taps in off the glass. Later on, Alyssa finds her sister, Janessa Willikis, slicing to the baseline. Knocks it in. 20 points for her on the day, but Turner never gave that lead up. Regan Conlon circling around the defense right to the hoop for the bank shot. 10 points for her. Turner takes down Sims 62 to 54. Meanwhile, the Power Girls in their first ever divisional facing Roy Winifred in the first round. Outlaws get it inside to Diani Boyce, and she will knock it down for two points in the paint. The uh, post players for the Outlaws had themselves one heck of an afternoon. Then Boyce to Madeline Hegum, the freshman inside, gets the turnaround bank shot to go. Pirates trying to hang in there somehow, someway. Kinsey May to Maggie Jensen knocks in the three. You betcha. Later on, Monique Schwalbach, the eighth grader, with a great pass to Hope Smelser. Take a look here inside the paint. No one in front of her, so she knocks down the floater. Roy Winifred feeling it from start to finish. Boyce with 26 points, 12 boards for a double-double. Outlaws win 65-36. Meanwhile, the Fort Benton girls coming off that dramatic 9C championship victory over uh, Box Elder taking on uh, Tri-City, who won earlier in the day. Titans start fast. Brianna Burgum charges right to the rack, puts that one in. Then great passing here will lead to a wide-open Brooke Grineau right under the basket. Two more points. For the Titans, Fort Benton have tried to hang in this game. Aspen Giese flings it down court. Mackenzie Clark for a runaway layup. Later on, Giese 
She wants a three ball and she will sink it for the Longhorns, but Tri-Cities had the upper hand all game. And they will knock off Fort Benton 53-39. You can find every division of score from the first day on Wednesday online at MontanaSports.com. Good night.